This is it, what? Cohiba lit, what? We got that yak up in the cup and getting bent, what? Put some smoke in the air, this your shit, what? And raise your glasses if everything classic. This is it, what? That Chiba lit, what? You got some drink up in your cup and getting bent, what? So put some smoke in the air, this your shit, what? And raise your glasses if everything classic. Stogie light in. As a kid, me and my dad just really always loved classic cars and muscle cars. We always talked about one day when we made it in boxing that, you know, we would have a muscle car. There was one point where I had a Jeep Grand Cherokee, and I was never able to figure out what was wrong with it. A lot of times I was able to start it when it had been sitting for a long time, and get to where I needed, but every time I went to, to start it back up, it would not start, and sometimes it would take hours. That thing was the biggest headache, but you know, at the time I didn't really, at the time I didn't care how I was gonna get home from the gym, I just knew that I had to get to the gym. And if I just focused on getting to the gym, I knew at some point that I wouldn't have to worry about getting to or from the gym. This car has been in the making for 28 years, you know, it's taken me my whole life. It took a lot of hard work to get this, a lot of blessed wins here. Super middleweight champion Caleb Plant could sit comfortably knowing he's atop his profession. But a ride through Las Vegas gives him time to reflect on his past and what drives him to move forward. Well, I think a lot about where I come from and just think back to things I've been through and things I don't want to go back to. I was just a regular old broke poor kid. You know, a broke kid who didn't have the same shoes as some of the other kids at school, and so I didn't get to stand out in the real world. Now I'm at a place and a point where I can afford the nicest things, the fanciest things. I'm a seven-figure fighter, but at the end of the day, those things don't make Caleb Plant. Those things don't make a world champion. A lot of times people say that money changes you, when in reality, a lot of times money just puts a magnifying glass on who you already are. To get out of poverty and having those nice things is what drove me. But at the same time, and even more so, it was about respect. It was about putting my footprint in the world and working towards something that will be written in stone forever, something that nobody will ever be able to erase. And but something that people will talk about for generations. You could take all those nice things away from me and I'd still be a world champion. Being broke, done something to my spirit. Being hungry, done something to my spirit. I've been homeless, that's done something to my spirit. And I can guarantee you that none of these guys in my weight division can break my spirit. I'm excited. I've been looking for this fight since 2018 when I lost my title to DeGale. Plants a man that has an IBF title and I've been waiting at a crack to get it back and uh, just ready to get in the ring and hungry to uh, bring it home and be a two-time world champion. I've been underdog my whole career. Uh, I've been underdog uh, 40 to 1, I think, when I when I beat James DeGale. Nobody wanted to see DeGale fight me. Nobody wants to see Plant fight me, apparently. But uh, just want to let everybody know that I'm going out there to uh, get the job done and, and shake up the boxing world again. You were tuned in to the G5 Jeff TV. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the share button as you come on in. January 30th, we have Caleb Plant. The 168 pound champion of the world is going to be defending this title against Caleb Truax. And this is the official breakdown and prediction video. If I'm not mistaken, I think this might be my first one of 2021. Um, if it's not, I apologize, but it's one of the first ones um, on G5 Jeff TV. But let's get right down to it. Caleb Plant. I mean, his name is hot right now. 
is is definitely hot right now because his name is being mixed in with Canelo Alvarez as a possible opponent. We all know that Canelo Alvarez dropped his belt at 160 pounds, and he is campaigning exclusively at 168 pounds. So it's looking like for Canelo, it's going to be Avni Yildirim, then Billy Joe Saunders, and then we might be talking Caleb Plant. So Caleb Plant definitely needs this victory, keep the momentum going, to keep himself in the sweepstakes for a Canelo Alvarez fight. Now, Caleb Plant is technically one of the best fighters in the business. When people say Caleb Plant is going to get waxed 12-0 against Canelo Alvarez, I'm, I'm not buying it. Um, Caleb Plant has too much skill, and with Caleb Plant, he presents a lot of the technical skills that it takes to give Canelo Alvarez difficulty in a fight. So I definitely love Caleb Plant's technical game. In regards to this fight with Caleb Truax, Caleb Plant just has to go in and make sure that he establishes distance. Doesn't matter what he's doing on offense. He has to establish distance because Caleb Plant can win this fight mid-range, long-range. If he allows Caleb Truax to get inside and start doing some of the things that he does, it can be, it can become a difficult fight from a technical standpoint. So Caleb Plant really just needs to control distance and make sure the jab is working, which Caleb Plant does in almost every fight. He almost never abandons the jab. I, I don't think I've ever seen him in a fight where he's abandoned the jab. So, Caleb Plant has a really good chance to win this fight if he just sticks to what he does. If he just does what he usually does inside of the ring, it doesn't, you know, go away from the script, then Caleb Plant should be fine in this fight. Now, moving to Caleb Truax. Now, Caleb Truax, he was supposed to fight and he ended up getting sick the week of the fight against Alfredo Angulo. And he ended up pulling out of that fight. And it was crazy because Alfredo Angulo ended up losing to the replacement in that fight. And I think if Truax would have took that fight, I think Truax probably would have looked real good in that fight against Alfredo Angulo. Like, he's, like, done. Like, he was already slow as is, like, in his, in his prime. But he's, like catch up out the bottle slow i mean like slow motion slow you know what i'm saying but i guess there's a silver lining with everything because with truax missing that fight with alfredo angulo he ended up getting a title shot against caleb plant now i know for a fact that caleb truax looks good right now i know that for a fact i know you're probably asking g5 how do you know that because his main sparring partners in camp is my bros Cruz Hitman Stewart and Antonio T. Woods. Big shout out to Cruz the Hitman and big shout out to T. Woods. Uh, they're in there definitely giving Caleb Truax some hard work, you know, in sparring, in the gym, keeping them sharp, keeping them ready. So I know Truax, Truax is in good shape and he's looking good in camp right now. Now, what can Caleb Truax do to make this a difficult fight for Caleb Plant Truax can get on the inside he can get on the inside but he's going to have to use angles to get inside um, that awkwardness that Caleb Truax has a tendency to bring inside of the ring he needs to continue to do that because he's not going to be able to beat Caleb Plant just straight boxing like Caleb Plant is one of the best technical fighters in the world right now. Like he's not gonna be able to beat him just straight boxing. He's gonna have to mix it up, um, different angles to get inside. And when he gets inside, he's gonna have to work. He's gonna have to work. He's gonna have to work smart. He gonna have to go to the body early and often. And I know in camp that's something that they're working on because uh T Woods and Cruz Hitman Stewart are two of the best body punchers in the business. Y'all may not have heard of them, but you will pretty soon so that's how i know caleb truax 
is in really good shape right now. Now, I think Caleb Plant is going to win the fight. Um, I would not be surprised if this fight goes the distance. Um, I think Caleb Truax is really going to come in there and try to win this fight, and I think it's going to be the best Caleb Truax you're going to you've seen probably in the past uh, couple years. Um, I really think he's going to come in and, and put in a really great effort, but I do think Caleb Plant is going to win this fight. I do think it's going to go to distance. Um, so I'm going to give you guys Caleb Plant by unanimous decision. Um, I would say nine rounds to three, possibly eight, four. But I do like Caleb Plant in this fight. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section. G5 Jeff TV. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Please share this video. Support your boy. Support good content at all times. I appreciate y'all. Peace.